Hi guys and welcome to today's video. This video I was quite excited about filming as it is a collaboration video with Eve. Now Eve is a YouTuber from Montreal, Canada. She has a channel here on YouTube called Eve Bolt. Bolt, Bolt. And she does videos on all sorts of things from testing out watercolours to watercolour tips and a few sketches as well. She also makes her own handmade watercolour paint. So today we have done a paint swap. I sent her a few paints of my own to try and she sent me some in return. I will link all her channel and her Etsy store either in the iCards or the, the uh, link description. So please check them out. So Eve sent me I believe a few different things. First thing that she sent me was a small watercolour palette with six watercolours in, which I'm showing now. I believe from her Instagram account there were three of these that she made and I've got number one. She also sent me three other watercolours that she made recently, which are like her new range that she has. These are all labelled. The ones in the pans are only labelled by pigment and I will read them out as we swatch them. Now I'm doing this also as a bit of a review and a little bit of comparison to my own handmade watercolours and I can see a few things that are similar and some things that are different from mine. They are very good watercolours, I did enjoy playing with them. I filmed this video in two parts. The first part which here is the unboxing and the swatching of them and the second part will be painting with them. I did that just so you can have the proper time to see the, the uh, swatching and the mixing of paint. I'm just unwrapping them here and they're wrapped very well. It's a thing that uh, women tend to be better at the little touches. They're, they're very nice. So the first thing that I noticed when I opened up the paint was the ultramarine blue was quite like my own. It looked like it had a powder on top. And as you can see there was no powder coming off it on my finger so that's not the case. It's just the way the pigment looks. Mine also looks the same, so it was quite reassuring. So the first colour I'm swatching here is Spanish Gold Ochre, PY42. This one of the uh, ones she made first time round. It was quite, this one was a little bit difficult to work, and there was a little bit of gun Arabic that comes to the top of the paint. However, once I got past that, it reacted re really well. The next colour here was a beautiful colour. It's PR101, which is a Venetian red. She has called it Salmon. I really like this colour that she sent me and it's one of my favourites that she has sent me actually. I should definitely be uh, wanting to buy this one again from her for the first time from her. It's all gifted from her. The next colour is Prussian Blue and I can say it's a very nice Prussian Blue. We wet some flows very well and it's, it's not as dark as some Prussian Blues I used. I did quite enjoy that. It's not as dark as others. It was more fun to use. Now the next one is ultramarine blue and this is a beautiful blue it's very bright very bright, vibrant it really sort of sings now the next color is uh, it is burnt sienna which is pbr7 normal normal pigment information for that one and again that's a really nice burnt sienna goes beautifully and it's really good the next three colours are, no, the next one is black. I don't usually use a lot of black in my work, but this, it was a very good black, and I'm finding a lot of use for it in the sketches I'm doing with her watercolours. This one flows very well as well. Now I did mess up the drawing of the lines, opaqueness and this, so to excuse me on that. I'll tell you which ones are opaque and which are not at the end. Next three are her new colours. This one here is Chromium Oxide, I believe. It's a green. It's quite an opaque green. It goes very well. It's very creamy paint. It's almost a little bit like wash. It's quite creamy. It's very nice. I did enjoy working with it. Which you'll see in the next video. This next colour is Very Show, which is lime green. It's quite, um, it's a bluey sort of green. It's like a viridian or an emerald green. Other brands might call it. It's a very nice transparent colour. 
The next one was Zircon Yellow, which I use a Lemon Yellow. It's a very nice yellow. Usually I'm not too keen on Lemon Yellows, as they look a little bit sickly, but this colour was actually very nice and not sickly at all. Very nice bright colour. And just sort of checking out the uh, opaqueness of some of the colours. The Salmon colour and the Chromium Oxide colour they are semi-opaque. So next I decided to use the colours to make a colour wheel. Now there is not a true red in the colours that she sent me, but the Salmon is PR101, so it's technically a red, even though it's not a... people wouldn't really consider it a red compared to, say, a cadmium red. So I thought I'd give this a go, see how it turned out. I did see a video from a YouTuber called Eron here on YouTube who used a triad using uh, like burnt sienna as a red. So I thought I'd try it with the uh, Venetian red, see how that would go. And surprisingly it did quite nicely. It made quite a lot of nice orange colours. I found were mixed with the zircon yellow. As you can see it's a very nice orange colour that you get out of it. It did produce some quite interesting purples there, which was quite fun. And I've also got a really nice set of greens for mixing the ultramarine with the zircon yellow as well. Now, a nice thing that I do like doing with colours that granulate such as ultramarine is making mixes with them as they produce some very interesting effects. The ultramarine pigment sort of settles into the paper, almost separating slightly from the yellow or the other paint that it's mixed with and it creates a very interesting texture. In the paint you get a really nice sort of few different shades across it. It's probably not so good to mix with if you're uh, looking for a completely flat colour, but for uh, some nice background effects it does really well. As you can see more nice oranges, you can see that really interesting sort of purple there on the left, which I got from the salmon colour and the ultramarine. Now this, mix, mixing the salmon with a little bit of the zircon there does produce quite a red colour, almost red colour, so you could use that really as red. We could call it like a true red. The zircon yellow mixed with the ultramarine, like the ultramarine green blue colour there. It's quite a nice turquoisey colour. Now the heavy blue purple mix is more indigo. It turns out like a nice indigo colour, which should be very good for shading. It's almost grey, a bit like Payne's grey. Payne's grey is sort of like a burnt sienna ultramarine mix. This is a Venetian red ultramarine mix instead. And there's a nice just warm purple tone, kind of purple tone, I'm not sure what you'd call it. Next up I just made some quick swatches of other mixes, such as mixing the zircon yellow with the Prussian blue in the set, and the mixing the salmon with the Prussian the, with the Prussian blue turned out to turn out to a black grey colour. It didn't make it nice purples as the ultramarine did. And now here I'm also mixing a flesh tone, to see what sort of flesh tones I can get as flesh tone is generally a yellow ochre mixed with a cool red colour. It does make some nice flesh tones as you'll see in my part 2 video. Now these paints were very fun to play with and work with. I have heavily enjoyed them so thank you very much Eve for sending them in to me and I hope you all or um, tune in for part two of these paints where I'm doing some sketching with them. So please check out all the links for links for Eve's shop and her YouTube channel and as well from my shop as well. And please as normal please comment, rate and subscribe. Any questions please do ask. Thank you guys and hopefully I shall see you for part two.